Hello everyone, welcome to the learning cubicle. In the previous class, we have discussed velocity time graph and now we will discuss another motion graph which is acceleration time graph. So like we did for displacement time graph and velocity time graph, we will also find the slope of acceleration time graph or what information can we get from this graph. We can definitely get the time in which a body has a particular acceleration or the acceleration of a body at a particular time interval. All that we can get from the graph directly. But what else can we get from this graph? Like we did in case of displacement velocity time graph, the area under the graph gives us the displacement. So here area under this graph gives us velocity. So you can get by finding the area under this graph, you can actually get the velocity of the body. But the slope of this graph is undefined because slope always difference of coordinates on y axis by difference of coordinates on x axis. So that is acceleration by time, which is undefined. We don't have any quantity, which is the ratio of acceleration and time. So the slope of this graph is undefined, but area under the graph gives us velocity. Now let us discuss the same cases what we discussed in case of displacement time graph and velocity time graph. Now look at this graph over here. After 2 seconds the acceleration of a body is 15 meters per second square. 4 it is same, 6 also the same, 8 seconds, 10 seconds and 12 seconds also the body's acceleration is still the same. That means the body is having a uniform acceleration. That means when the graph is a straight line parallel to the x-axis, in case of acceleration time graph, the body is moving with uniform acceleration. When there is an acceleration in the body, we can understand that the velocity of the body is non-uniform. So when the velocity is uniform, there won't be any acceleration. So the body's velocity is non-uniform, but the acceleration is uniform in this case. Now let's see the next graph. Now look at this graph. In this case, the acceleration of the body after 5 seconds, it is 10 meter per second square. After 10 seconds, it is 20 meters per second square. 15, it is 30. 20, it is 40. 25, it is 50. And 30, it is 60. That means the acceleration of the body is changing with the change in time interval. So, the body's acceleration is no longer uniform. So, the body is moving with non-uniform acceleration so its velocity also will be non-uniform. So when the graph is a straight line passing through the origin in case of acceleration time graph the acceleration of the body and the velocity of the body are non-uniform. Now let's move to the next graph. In this case you can see here the acceleration is definitely non-uniform because after 2 seconds, it is somewhere around 2 meter per second square. After 4, it is somewhere around 2. So, the acceleration of the body is non-uniform even in this case. So, if the acceleration is non-uniform, the velocity is also non-uniform. So, when the graph is a curve passing through the origin, in case of acceleration time graph, the body's acceleration and the velocity are non-uniform, right? Now let's discuss the last case in case of acceleration time graph. Same like velocity time graph, you don't see any points over here nor a curve over here, but you can see the graph over here. All the points are on the x-axis. So after two, one second, the acceleration of the body is zero. After two, also zero. Three, zero, four, zero. Five and six, also zero. So, there is no acceleration of the body at, after any time interval. So, the body is not having any acceleration. So, when the body is not having any acceleration, you should understand that the body's velocity is not changing. So, when the graph consists of all its points on the x-axis, in case of acceleration time graph, the acceleration of the body is zero, which means the velocity of the body is uniform.
थैंक यू